Hi, I'm Rachel. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about getting stuff done, motivation, and just kind of how it all ties together. I want to talk about motivation today because I don't have any. It's pretty much as simple as that. I'm just very subdued today. Well, I guess we all have these moments, but it's been kind of overcast and you know, that's not a bad thing, but it's just, I don't even know, maybe I'm looking for excuses. I just have not been motivated recently. I started kind of digging into what is it about motivation that's so hard sometimes and how do we harness motivation and make more out of it. So I thought of a fun little way to make it more interesting to me. Today, we're gonna talk about the four M's of motivation. Right there, that's my M. Really just the four M's of getting stuff done. I'm calling them the four M's because when you put four M's together, it makes the sound of hmm, which is the sound that you make when you get stuff done. It might also be the sound that you make if you're like really pleased with yourself. So you might be like, hmm, mm-hmm. Or, you know, it might just be like the, oh my God, thank God I got that done. <sighs> Hopefully it's just like the very satisfied, hmm. That's the kind of noise that I'm looking to make after I get a bunch of stuff done. The four M's, I'm sure you're dying to know what they stand for. They stand for mischief, because I think that if you aren't feeling motivated, like if you don't know what to do and you're just feeling blah, I see it as, as you're not gonna get anything done anyway, so you may as well go get into a little bit of mischief. When you're getting into mischief, you feel like you're not supposed to be doing whatever it is that you're doing, and so therefore it's more interesting. I just kind of look at it as like, go dig around in some stuff, open up an old box you haven't seen, look in the back of your closet, go to your garden shed, open your trunk. I don't even know, just go find some mischief and you're gonna know when you hit it because something's gonna intrigue you. That leads me to the second M, which is motivation. As soon as you feel intrigued with something, that's when the motivation has you and you just go with it. I said it before and I stand by it and that's that feeling motivated is not something to be taken lightly. When you get that motivation or you sense that there's some motivation to do something, just go with it. The third M is momentum. Momentum is the thing that you get when you are motivated, you're on a roll, you're doing good. Momentum means just keep going. So I kind of already said that with motivation, but I mean, I mean it. So take that momentum and push through it. And that's what you're gonna need to essentially move on to the next project. You're gonna feel good about it. The last M is more. The reason that more is so important is because motivation comes. You act on your motivation and you do it. When you do it, you get momentum. And when you have momentum, you want to do more. It's like you're chasing the high of the momentum. The whole reason that you have momentum is because whatever you did when you were motivated felt so good that you keep going. So if you follow that momentum, you get more done. And that's the four M's of getting stuff done. And at the end of those things, you're gonna go, hmm. Mm -hmm. So just a recap here, mischief, go get into some stuff. Motivation, when you find something that gives you the motivation, so act on it. Momentum, when you act on it, that feels really good. So you're gonna wanna keep on going and then more. And more stands for chasing the high that you got when you got stuff done because it felt so good. And at the end of it all, when you're finally exhausted and the day is up, you're gonna say, hmm, I'm gonna go look for some mischief right now because I could use some help getting stuff done and we'll see what I can dig into. Okay, well, in the words of Harry Potter, mischief managed. I'm gonna do some stuff in my garden today. It's pretty nice out, also a little bit windy. <laughs> 
Anyway, I think that today is the perfect day for me to just do some stuff outside. I feel like maybe the reason I wasn't motivated to do anything before was because there was just nothing that was calling my name inside. I came outside and I kept on looking at my gardens and after circling the house a few times, I realized, yep, I am intrigued by my garden space. So I can say right now that if anybody was waiting for a purge video, then probably just go ahead and click away. But. If you're looking for a video that's satisfying still and want to watch me get stuff done, well, that was the point of today was hitting the four M's. So I'm definitely still going to do that. Hopefully by the end of this video, both you and I will have that hmm feeling because I am going to do some serious cleanup on the garden behind you in front of me. It's mostly just going to be digging out leaves, I think, or, you know, letting the flowers breathe a little bit. I think I could do a couple things to build up more momentum, and we'll see what happens. But feeling excited about this mischief. Here we are, it's the end of a long weekend, and I had a really good time, but I will say, you probably noticed, I didn't actually get a lot done. What I did get done was a lot of mental stuff. Quite a bit of rejuvenation happened. I've been really digging hard in my house, but you know what? We can't always have really exciting, jam-packed, purge declutter session, crazy life-changing weekends. Sometimes it's just a nice subdued one and sometimes it takes getting into a little bit of mischief, doing something for yourself just to get that little pick-me-up and re-energize you to get back to the main goal, which is simplifying and minimizing your life, at least for me. One of the things that I really do enjoy is getting outside and getting into the garden and that's something that I did all weekend. 
and it felt great. I'm motivated now to keep going. In fact, I'm rearing to go to get back in my house and in my garage under the stairs. You haven't even seen that. There's tons of spots now that I'm like, okay, I'm good to go. Like I feel energized. I feel like I got something done that was for me and I just feel emotionally ready to get back out there or, you know, in there. So just wanted to say thanks for hanging out with me this weekend and thanks for watching me dig in my garden. Hopefully it was interesting somewhat and maybe just motivated you to get out into your own gardens or do something else that gets you excited this spring. There is nothing wrong with us finding energy and motivation and just a little pick-me-up through personal activities. It doesn't all have to be work, work, work. I guess that's it. <laughs> I am ready for my... <sighs> So I've got like all the mmms wrapped up in one. I'm like, hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Thanks again for watching, for hanging out, and for sticking with me on this journey. I hope that you guys are feeling just as motivated and excited to keep going as I am. And if you're not a subscriber and you enjoyed my video, then please subscribe. It also helps me if you guys tell other people about these videos. Having more people following along is really great. The comments on here have been really fun to read and to interact with, and hopefully you guys are having fun interacting with each other too. So I will see you guys next Thursday. Some serious business is going on. It is serious business. Look at this. Four M's. Uh oh. That's happening, huh? <laughs> is that gonna be your thumbnail? Yep. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. So we're gonna figure out what stuff to keep and what stuff to get rid of. No. Yeah. I don't want to. You don't want to? Because mm -mm. some of the stuff we don't need to keep. I don't want to. Oh. I want some more. You want to look for worms instead? Yeah. All right, let's go look for worms. Uh, 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 that's good. Okay, let's go do it.